Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day one of our Florida trip. We're up and about. We've got our new T-shirts on. I do absolutely love these. Yeah. Um, more for myself, really, than anything. Um, and we're going to be off to celebration for our traditional morning Starbucks by the Celebration Lake there that we love. It's currently about half past seven. To be fair, we did have a bit of a lie-in. Normally, we'd well be there by now. Yeah, we were destroyed, yeah. We were pretty knackered. Back home last so. night, went straight to bed. Didn't even do anything else. Laura went straight to bed. I sat up for an extra hour and edited the travel day vlog. So please do hit the thumbs up on it. Drop the comments on it. I'm going to try really hard to keep getting the content out for you. So um, if you can do that, I would appreciate it. But now it's coffee time. Uh, I've got the bag with the drone in, gimbal, everything that we need for today. We don't know exactly what we're doing. I might fly the drone round uh, celebration a little bit, then we're going to go, I think we're going to head to the outlets. As I mentioned in the vlog yesterday, travel day, we've come very, very light because I knew that I was going to buy some socks, I was going to buy some boxies and bits and bobs, so we might go and get that done today for when it opens. Yeah. Then we'll carry on up the I-4 and probably head into Universal for a couple of hours. Pretty annual pass, yeah. Well, yeah, but you don't get free parking, so. Don't need free parking. So other than that, what I will mention is we're not doing Disney this time, simply because for the two week passes, it's just too expensive. It was a lot of money. We did a lot of Disney last time. If you saw the vlogs, we did a lot of it. And for the two week passes, it's just too expensive. If I could have upgraded to an annual pass, I would have done it. But for this trip, we're not gonna be doing Disney. And there is a little bit of a surprise coming up as well that even you don't know about. So that's coming up. Um, but yeah, no Disney this time. We will go for like a Disney breakfast. We'll go to Disney Springs, go down to Disney Boardwalk, etc. But in terms of Disney parks, it's not going to be happening on this trip, unfortunately. And from what I've seen, it's just bedlam in there. So we're going to be avoiding it this trip, but we will be back on the next one. What's a surprise? You're not allowed to know. Not allowed to know, even no one knows bar me. <laughs> and so that'll be coming up. You can look forward to that one. But uh, let's head out. Let's go and get our favourite coffee and our favourite spot. Oh, I'm excited. And uh, we'll uh, catch up with you then. And here we are, our favourite little town. I feel like I'm back at home. Hello. What would you do to live here? Got that lovely diner that we tried last time. That's, I think that's one of the lodge guys' favourite, that one. Yeah. Hi guys, if you're watching. I love that what one. would you do for a little breakfast in there this morning? There's your favourite. My favourite, definitely getting in the uh, Celebration Town Tavern again a couple of times, hopefully, this trip. Yeah, that's a little more this trip. Yeah, even if we eat separate. Um, but I'm definitely getting my Starbucks and look at the view of this lake this morning. Well, it's our favourite place for a coffee. We're going to go down and sit on these rocking chairs if there's uh, still some left. How good is that coffee, Laura? I just don't know how. It's so much better out here. So much nicer, isn't it? And they're like, welcome, come on in. Da, da, da. It's not like that where, where we are, is it? No, it's like... Ugh. But yeah. it's absolutely stunning out here. This is our favourite place to come for a morning coffee. Normally come for like sunrise time if we can. Just sit over the lake. There's a rocking chair there. Have your Starbucks. Heaven. You listen to the crows, the birds. Oh, Love it. I'm in heaven right now. I'm going to sit in this nice new one, which is in the memory of Tom Lewis, which is the celebration founder. I'm going to sit back, enjoy the view. I've got a uh, chocolate croissant as well. Oh, wow. Yes. Are you in heaven right now, Laura, or what? Lovely, yeah, the rest of the way. It is lovely. I'm watching people walk the dogs. This guy's sucking up all the leaves. I'm watching people do the walk around the lake. Uh, we did do that last time. We actually rented the bikes here, which we might do again. Might come and rent the bikes again. 
uh, and ride around. That was an amazing day, wasn't it? We loved that. Yeah. Feels surreal, but amazing being back, doesn't it? Oh, I was so happy to be back. I just picked up this. It does feel strange not going to Disney, but price-wise for the tickets was expensive for the two weeks. Yeah, I think that's going to be the weird one for me this yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, do let us know though. Let us know in the comments if you think maybe we should try and do one day in Disney. I mean, that'll cost a lot, but do you think we should try and do one day or a two-day ticket? It's just, and then you've got to reserve. It's a lot of, a lot of complications to it, but do let us know your thoughts in the comments if people really, really want us to go for a day to try and do a day ticket or something yeah but it was just working out i mean the annual passes for universal are just a no-brainer but you can't get an annual pass for disney at the moment i know otherwise we've got one last time yeah we'd have done it last time we'd have been sorted but price wise it was like 700 quid each or something for tickets yeah yeah it was quite a bit but do let us know your thoughts in the comments we're going to try and do a few nature things as well. We're going to try and do some different things that we didn't get a chance to do last time as well. Yeah, because we were all part, part, part last time. And we might even try and take a, a trip to Bush Gardens. Let me know your thoughts oh, about that. Should we do a day in Bush Gardens? Do the new Iron Gwazi? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, definitely let us know uh, your thoughts in the comments. Oh, oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. We're going to enjoy these and I think we'll trundle up to the uh, outlets, which don't open until 10 if I remember rightly. Yeah. We got there too early last time. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Because I remember during lockdown as well, they weren't allowing us to wait outside the business shop. That's all the things yeah. to do. And we were worried that we, we, when we got there, we weren't allowed to wait outside the business shop. But yeah. It's all changed by then. Well, we're definitely, as I said, we're definitely going to Disney Springs quite a few times. We're going to go around all the Disney shops. Yeah, we love Disney. We are going to go and do a couple, of, maybe even a couple of resort breakfasts. Definitely one resort breakfast. Yeah, we've got to try and get one, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll go to Boardwalk, which we love. We'll go and do that of an evening or something. We might even go to Polynesian of an evening time, and you'll be able to see the fireworks across the lake. So there'll be Disney bits and bobs, but at the moment we don't have park tickets for Disney. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, so we're now at the premium outlets, Orlando premium outlets. We've come, it's about quarter past nine. They don't open till 10, but the beauty of it is you've got the whole place to yourself. Park in, park wherever you fancy. And uh, you can get straight in the shops when they open. No big crowds, have a nice look around. You can get in the Disney store early on as well if they have had a restock with some decent stuff. They do sell out fast, so that's another beauty of coming. Um, so yeah, we're a bit early, but I'd recommend coming early, it does help. So it is lovely and peaceful and quiet in here, nothing is open yet. But, especially in the first few mornings where you're awake really early, don't waste it in bed, get yourself out, do some of these things, and you'll feel the benefit of it, because when you come in here in the middle of the afternoon, it's bedlam, isn't it? Some of the shops have queues outside just to get inside. I know Gucci's one of them. Yeah, Gucci, what's that bag store? Kate Spade, they yeah. have massive queues. Uh, the other thing just to mention, I always mention it as well, I did last time as well. These stands here that offer cheap park tickets, be careful with them. They are Wingate Resorts, so they are timeshare sales tours. So you'll get it for that price, but they will take you on a timeshare tour for hours and hours, and it is hard to sell. So just be careful of them. There's always a catch. Uh, we always just buy our tickets online, don't we, with attractionTickets.com. Yeah, it's just um, the yeah. for us. But saying that, if you have to do a tour, 
all. Oh yeah, if you came for like three, four weeks, if we were here for three, four weeks, a little bit of time to kill and we wanted to go cheap, you could go and do the tour. But you know, just be careful, they're gonna use hard sail tactics on you and things. But yeah, we're just gonna chill, have a little wander around, suss things out, and then at least we'll be in the shops, have the shops to ourselves by the time we get in, Laura. We'll get to the character warehouses just the other side of this food court. So we'll move across to the other side, getting the character warehouse queue. So we're still waiting for some of the shops to open. Uh, most of them, I believe, are gonna open at 10, but some of them, just so you know, Monday to Thursday only open at 11. So Monday to Thursday, quite a few of the shops are 11 until 8 p.m. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're all 10 until 8 p.m. So weekdays, quite a few of them, Calvin Klein, a few others we've seen signs on the doors for saying they're opening at 11. Uh, just so you know if anyone's coming out anytime soon. Quite a few, it's a bit strange because some of them haven't got signs on the door, some of them have, so I presume the ones that haven't got signs up saying they don't open till 11 are gonna open at 10, as usual. But say uh, we're happy hanging on, it's, uh, I think it feels like, you know, really late in the morning, but it's actually still pretty early for us. It's just the jet lag has got us up early. But it's quite nice actually, we've been looking through all the windows, sort of eyeing up what sort of things we like the look of. There's some nice stuff in Under Armour, so we're definitely gonna go to that shop. You can sort of judge, have a you know a good window shop, see what's inside, what's going on. I mean, we've looked at Character Warehouse and it does look like there's quite a lot in there. So we would like to try and get in there. There's a few of those Dooney and Burke bags and things in there, quite a lot of Christmas stuff. Whereas sometimes you can look in the Character Warehouse and it, you know, they've barely got anything in, but it does look like they've had maybe a restock. So we'd like to try and get in the Character Warehouse. I've lost Laura now, I'm sure I'll find her again. <laughs> no one here. So, change of plan, we got really frustrated there because loads of the shops aren't open. There's, there's like two shops open, Adidas and something else, and it's now 10 past 10. So we're not gonna waste any more time waiting for shops to open. Some of them haven't even got any staff turned up yet. And it's all these temporary hours and everyone in there is all like pulling on the handles, trying to get in. There's loads of people in there now who've come for 10 and it's closed. And there's nowhere outside or anything that says most of the stores are shut till 11 quite naughty really so we've wasted a bit of time already we're not going to waste any more uh, we're going to go and get some other little bits done uh, i want to pop to uh, walmart i could do with popping to walgreens i've got a little bit of a sore throat it's not covid obviously i've done a test it's just a bug i've picked up from somewhere but yeah we're going to change the, the plan we'll try and maybe come back later or something but i'm not wasting any more time 
and loads of the shops don't even have anything to say when they're opening or closed. So a little bit disappointed there, should have a sign outside, you know, this week. It seems to only be this week as well, yeah. temporary hours for this week, very strange. But yeah, we're gonna jump in the car and uh, carry on somewhere else. Okay, so we've got a happy allure now. We've just pulled up at Walmart, not far from Violin. So we might go back after we've done this. What we should have done is come straight here uh, before. Always love a mooch around Walmart. Who doesn't? If, you've, if it's your first time here, come and have a good wander around Walmart. There are so many things that you can't get elsewhere, especially in Europe, England, etc. We just love. Even just to look. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we won't be buying too much, will we? But no. we'll enjoy a good mooch around. I'm sure you guys will as well. The last time we were here we did the walmart vlog it went crazy didn't it everyone loves a bit of walmart yeah. so we'll enjoy a good wander around here because it's what's like what's that it's just going around walmart and stuff like that and i just watch stuff you don't yep. talk you just walk around just walk around walmart and look at the stuff shop, don't you? And I yeah so i hope you do enjoy this little segment and then we'll see what happens afterwards see what time it is as to whether we go back to the outlets or we just go straight to universal very frustrating that uh, no warning about the times or anything. Oh, this could be dangerous. Laura's got a trolley. No That's fine. You, you have a big trolley. The section here is really, really good. They do loads of um, like cooked chicken and things. Really, really cheap. This stuff here at the back is lovely and so are the wedges. But if you can get a really cheap um, sort of basket of food. If you were staying in a villa, you wanted to pick up something quick. It's nice and cheap and all already done. You've got like hot dogs there, but this chicken is lovely. I know I like that chicken, I've had it before. So that's always a good one, that one. If you want to pick something, pick something up to, you know, take back to the villa or the hotel room, but it's already cooked and hot and done, you can always just grab it from there. What's your favorite aisle in here, Laura? What are we looking for? Anything and everything. Anything and yeah, I thought that would be the answer. <laughs> I thought that would be the answer. Do drop in the comments below as well. What is your favourite part of coming to Walmart? For me, it's all these donuts and cakes and things. Although I still don't understand their obsession with sugar biscuits. But uh, when you find those boxes of Krispy Kremes, look at all these here. All these different cheesecakes. American, f Mexican flan that is. Oh, look at that. Peanut butter chocolate cake. Oh, even the uh, even just the regular cupcakes look really good. And they do these as well, where each section is a different flavour. That's quite good. Oh yeah, there's a lot of uh, nice looking cakes in here. Hershey's, any Hershey's chocolate fans? Controversial. I know many people who like them, and I know many people who don't. We got some donuts in here. Oh, very tempting, very tempting. All these little mini cupcakes. There is so much in here. You could literally be in here for hours, hours and hours. Decadent cookie platter. You got all your glazed donuts here. Personally, I prefer the Krispy Kreme ones. You can normally get a box of Krispy Kremes in here. Quite cheap. Over the Walmart owned brand ones. White chocolate cookies. See, that's why you've got to come in. You've got to be careful. Don't come in here hungry, is my advice. <laughs> if you come in here hungry, you are in trouble. Oh, oh. Oh, a little immunity shot. Oh, I love that, won't I? No donuts then. Immunity shots. I just said to everyone, don't come in here hungry. Because you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Do not come into Walmart hungry is my advice. Proper Matilda Bruce Bog Trotter cake that is, isn't it? You can do it, Brucey. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> that is a proper. That would be real deal. I could do it. I could do that challenge, Laura. You can film me. <laughs> you can do it, Andrew. <laughs> See, I've just shown all these. these. Look at these cookies and cream mousse. How nice would that be? Bet you some of these are absolutely stunning. The cheesecakes as well. New York cheesecake. Just a straight up New York cheesecake. Can't beat it because yeah. it's baked. It's a bit different. It is. 
They look quite plain, but they are really tasty. Uh, we're gonna have to move in some diff different aisles, Laura. Well, we've got edible cookie dough there. Oh dear. We've got a whole <laughs> supermarket to explore yet. <laughs> Here's a popular aisle, this is the uh, cereal aisle, you can normally get some cereal that they don't have in the UK. They get away with putting a lot more in the things over here, don't they? Yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever seen them. Oops, all berries. Fruit Loops out here and in Europe, they're very bright out here, but in Europe, they're yeah. not. They get a lot of, away with a lot more colourings and things in America. Lucky Charms. The famous pop tarts again i don't get the deal with these i really don't but some people love them i don't quite see the big deal personally but i know a lot of brits do love them that damn cool he's gonna keep showing up <laughs> that's uh, always on family guy that one and then of course all your mac and cheese and there's like mac and cheese for days here how many different types of mac and cheese can you get that looks nice the cracker barrel one how many types of mac and cheese can you get there's a lot going on there's even shells and cheese instead of mac oh yeah it's all different types of well you can get all kinds here now Pickles, Laura? Olives? Are they olives? Pickles? What are they? Pickles? They know I like pickles. All your American marshmallows here. Look at these patch sour marshmallows. Swedish fish marshmallows. Sour patch kids. Ooh, they're the ones we like, Laura, aren't they? Them. I love those ice cream ones. I might get a bag of them. They're going in. Now, American marshmallows are completely different to what you'd get in England. These here, these straight up normal marshmallows, totally different. I find, the, I find the texture a little bit odd, but Laura loves them. But yeah, completely different. We're going to be heading to the sweets aisle soon and also the drinks aisle. Everyone likes seeing all the different uh, things you can get. We do normally also try and take some of these home these like nice uh, cookie bake mixes and brownie mixes especially the gluten-free ones we we'll normally try and take a box of this home uh, when we've got luggage but this time around maybe not I'm not too sure but these mixes are normally lovely the Giardelli one ultimate chocolate nice look at these little brownie cups as well amazing. they do look really good look at that cookie cup no bake bites cookie dough oh hey uh, very naughty very naughty and the crisp aisle as well i'm forgetting the crisps you can get these boxes now 28 bags of all kinds ruffles flaming hot cheetos they're quite good if you wanted to try all different crisps Yeah, these little pots here are really handy if you're um, sort of staying in a hotel or you don't want boxes. Not sure, Laura. You normally like the, the Lucky Charms. And then all these different... Uh, you've got Wendy's Frosty Chocolate Cereal. Tricks. I've not seen... Look, they've got like candy in the cereal. So many different things here than what you'd get in the UK. Honey checks, these are quite nice, these rice checks. And the mini frosted wheats as well. There's a lot down here. All your different Cheerios, look at this. All different flavor Cheerios. Do let us know in the comments. A lot of people do like to see in the comments, what do people know, what was your favorite sort of different cereal or different Thing that you get in America when you come over. For a lot of people, it's the crisps, but does anyone get any specific cereal? It's amazing how much cereal you get. Cereal. Yeah. And even all the Nature Valley bars, there's a mountain of them. All the types of 
Captain Crunch, there you go, there's your Rice Krispie squares. They do a chocolate original and strawberry flavour there. Yeah, they're a bit like Starbucks, yeah, with the chunks of marshmallow in. Then all your different Pop Tarts. If you're a Pop Tart fan, let me know. Hot Fudge Sunday. Brown sugar cinnamon. Oh no, I wouldn't like that. Sugar, oh, cinnamon. Definitely not cinnamon for me. Let's see what's going on in the next aisle. I think this is the crisp aisle. I am liking these boxes of crisps. These are quite a good idea, I think. 18 in a box. And you can get all kinds of different mix and matches in them. So if you're not fussed on flavours or you want to try some different flavours, you can just mix and match with those boxes. Then all your tackies that everyone likes. And also on the other side, American popcorn, which is normally butter popcorn, isn't it, Laura? It's not salted, it's more butter. Oh, Tower of Terror there on the uh, roll radio. Must be an advert. All your different flavour Cheetos. Cheeto Puffs. And then also, they get a lot of different flavours of Pringles normally that you can't get at home. Scorching Cheddar, that sounds interesting. See, I don't know what they sell in England and what they don't, but I know normally they have more here than they do in England and in Europe. Then these are quite good, these little dips. Yeah, you get the scoops and then you just do this, put the dip in them. This is a good way of doing it. And of course, all your Lay's, which are actually walkers. Huge bag of Lay's then, huge. And your different monsters. Sun cream, this is what we need. So this will give you an idea of sun cream if you are gonna travel over without it. Um, let's see what we can get. We just want like a nice 50. Just a nice straight up 50, maybe in a spray. Is that gonna be better? Do we need a big spray? Are we gonna go through that much? Or just a nice bottle? Spray. Okay, we're going wild with a spray. And that is, for your information, uh, $8.97, so not, that's a big bottle. So yeah, it's not, not hugely priced if you are going to travel without sun cream like we did. We didn't come with any suitcases, so next up, you've got the drinks aisle. They do have a lot of different drinks. Even the Fanta here is different. You see how orange the Fanta is? Laura's going to pick up a pack of water for us. Always a good idea. Oh, I've just got Laura to pick up her two packs of 12. Laura's not convinced we're going to drink them all, but trust me, we'll go through them. Laura's gone for Pepsi Max. I'm going for the Mountain Dew. And at, like, for example, a big bottle of Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper, $1.98. It's not horrendous, is it? Yeah, do remember they do add the tax on at the end, so that's not the price you'll pay at the till. There is a little bit of tax always added on on the prices in Florida, on everything. Got Pepsi Wild Cherry. Pepsi Cola made with real sugar. Now any beer fans, there is a lot of beer on offer. A lot of beer when you come over. Uh, my favorite is the Bud Light, especially in these bottle cans. Uh, it's my favorite. Yeah. But they do have, if you like, like sort of lime, if you like Coronas, they've got Bud Light Lime, uh, Pure Gold, they've got Michelob Ultra is also a nice uh, nice one. I normally try and have either Bud or Michelob Ultra, something a bit different, because I can get Corona, etc. Uh, elsewhere. And then you do have all White Claw, different flavour beers, I find. Look at these, got these Corona 
uh, flavoured ones, classic lime, strawberry, mango and peach. Then Mikey's are quite nice, they're a bit similar to a Smirnoff Ice. But yeah, loads of uh, offers on the, on the beers. Loads of different flavours. I'd always recommend try something different if you're coming over than what you'd normally have. But you never know, you might find a new favourite. I do love the Bud Light. It's low in calories, the Bud Light as well. Oh, here's Laura's favourite M&M minis. You gonna get some, Laura, now? Might as well get some. Treat yourself. We're into the freezer aisle now. Got all your different flavoured ice creams. Swiss roll ice cream, that looks nice. Ooh, all your different Ben and Jerry's. Just goes on for days and days. You think they've got ice cream and then you could just be trying to pick ice cream for days. Sherbet lime ice cream. Reese's and you could just look down here for days and days. Then you've got all your frozen burrito wraps. Egg and cheese, sausage, croissants. Then if someone can tell me in the comments, what is the big deal with Eggo? I just don't see. There's a few things I don't see the deal with. So everyone just wants to eat Eggo because it was on Stranger Things. What, it, what are the waffles? Mm, I, just, I just don't see the deal with Eggo. There you go. <laughs> there you go with the Eggo. It's just a million ice creams. Look at these, cookies and cream. Dove over here is, is very similar to your Galaxy. Yeah, it does taste slightly different though. It's not quite as creamy over here, I would say. M&M's. Where's Seb? Uh, there you go, Seb. Incredible Wilsons, if you're watching. There's your big box of uh, ice creams, $5 over here. Don't know how much you got them for in England, but they're $5 over here. If you want to feed the family, look at this, you've got a huge giant lasagna, $13. But that serves 12 people. So you can serve the whole family of 12, or you know, 10 of you, for just a couple of dollars. That is a massive lasagna, that is. So if you are staying self-catering or you've got a villa, Walmart is normally the cheapest supermarket for us. Publix is very nice, but we do find it a bit more expensive. But there's just loads on offer. If you want to try and eat a little bit cheaper, all the vegetable, these are lovely. These chicken dishes I've had before, orange chicken there as well. You can definitely eat in a lot cheaper. This one here, ah, gluten-free. Look at the size of that gluten-free pizza. Not too bad either, the price no. that favourite one, but look. So you can get a pizza, these are all the gluten-free ones. You've got massive variety as well. Whole variety, but even just the normal pizzas. Six dollars for a pizza, shove it in the oven in the villa. Yep. I would definitely, you will spend a lot of money if you eat out three times a day. So I would definitely recommend trying to eat lunch in or breakfast in, etc you will end up spending an awful lot if you eat out three times a day here. These are all your different flavoured Gatorades. I'm a big Gatorade fan. So I will probably pick some of these up, I think. i pick up some Gatorades, I do love them. Uh, I'll just pick up probably two for now. Frozen vegetables, nice and cheap, 84 cents for a big bag of mixed veg. Green beans as well. I would definitely get you know, any of this great value, which is Walmart's own brand, which is basically as their own brand. You're gonna get some really good deals, really good prices. Yeah, I would definitely say so. You're gonna save a lot of money doing it this way, especially if you've got a big family or you're staying with a lot of people all together. Uh, let's see what the likes of eggs are now. Uh, we normally try and get free range because a lot of these are not free range eggs. There you go, cage free, 12 eggs, $3. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Just to show you another necessity everyone always wants, $3.54 for a big thing of great value milk. And that is a gallon of milk. That's quite a lot for the price. 
that would last you a long time. You can get a smaller one, $2. But any of these with the blue label, great value. These are like supermarket owned brands. These are gonna be cheaper. Another popular aisle is of course the Oreo aisle. Birthday cake, peanut butter, chocolate hazelnut. They would be nice. That's got like Nutella in the middle. I do like the golden Oreos as well. Yeah, there is, uh, we're in a bit of the cookie aisle now, aren't we? All different, ooh, deluxe M&Ms. So uh, I have to keep talking over the music as well. Is the uh, ooh fudge marshmallow cookies? They look good. They look really good. I'm trying to resist. I'm trying to resist. Of course, all the beef jerky as well. Any beef jerky fans? Again, a bit of a weird thing for me. But yeah, the beef jerky, massive thing over here. Loads of cookies. Loads of them. Ooh. There you go, Digestive McVitie's. Four dollars, that would be after tax, basically. Four dollars for a pack of digestives. <laughs> I'd definitely try and get things that are more, that are American, not imported. Got proper Mick Garvey shirts here. My dad would love all these wacky shirts here. And these are only $13, but I tell you what, they are really thin. I might have to get my dad one because they are so thin and cool, them. I think I might, I think you quite like that one, Laura. I like this one, yeah. But they are super thin. For $13, you cannot go wrong. The last little aisle we're gonna look down, the rest is all mostly homeware, is you've got coffee here, all your McCafe premium roast, Dunkin' Donuts, all your Starbucks, Cinnabon. Any brand that does coffee has basically got coffee in here. Um, if you did did want a large great value one, you're looking at fifteen dollars, and that's forty eight cups of coffee. So pretty good value. What you're going to remember is a lot of these things are big boxes. They don't do everything. Seems quite expensive, but you've normally got a lot in the box. Their containers and boxes are very large. And then just on the other side, you've got Laura is uh, cooing over all the gluten free section here. Things. Oh, you love them oh chocolate covered God. pretzels. Yeah. And you know me, I just love yeah. hearing you crunch, don't I? Laura crunching them drives me bonkers. But yeah, if you have got an allergy, just to show you, you've got all kinds here. Different crackers, Kit Kats, cookies, brownie mixes, your bread here as well. If you want to make a sandwich to take to the parks, you've got your different loaves of bread. $5 for a loaf of bread that isn't cheap, I would say especially for the gluten-free but if you've got allergies like Laura like and there's nothing this. you can do oh key lime white chocolate gluten-free cookies Ooh. I'm gonna try them give them a little try you quite like them last time peanut butter filled no, things no oh you didn't like them no, okay I like the gluten, no. Again. just shows what you've got on offer if you do need snacks for the parks you've got allergies you can uh, fill your boots. Now this isn't in, just so you know, they don't advertise the gluten-free aisle. This is in the aisle with tea, coffee, canned and peanut butter. There's no like free from or gluten-free on the aisle number. Honey grams, they like graham crackers. Yeah, but I'm wondering, I'm even gonna eat them because I want them as smalls. So I'm gonna eat them as a meal. Mm, probably not, are you like gonna, you don't think you're gonna get time to make s'mores, Laura. And I'm not gonna travel them all the way back. Yeah. But we could always get them at the, on the, one of the last days if we need them, if we've got space. All your uh, gravy, chilli seasoning. What are they? Birthday cake cookies. Oh, confetti cookies. Well, you can have cookies. You're going to eat cookies, aren't you? I've but got, gram, I've got me. Graham crackers to make. Right. Well, you've got to go easy. Like, you know, we have only got hand luggage. Do you know what I mean? I'll eat them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mentioned at the start of the video about Krispy Kremes, and here is the Krispy Kreme stand. Now my favourite are just these ones straight up. I'm not going to get a box of 12. I'd need a smaller box, but the smaller boxes seem to be mixed ones. They have got a full Krispy Kreme drive through on the 192, so maybe we'll have to stop at that then, Laura, because I'm not going to eat all them. And if I do, you can definitely start calling me Homer Simpson. 
See, I'm not going to eat them middle ones. I just prefer the straight up chocolate ones. We'll find them. I mean, I don't exactly need them, do I? But I just, these are my favourites. Just the normal ring chocolates. We'll find some. Another favourite of Laura's are these Junior Mints. You're going to get some, Laura? How many? Just one for now? Two for now. Two for now. Right. I'm not going to see you for a few days when you're in the house eating all this stuff. These are nice as well, these little crunch ones. I'm going to get some of them. They're good. These are $1.25. They it used to be a dollar. It used to be the 99 cent stand, but I notice it's gone to a dollar twenty-four stand now. These all used to be 99 cents, like a dollar a box. And yeah, I've got some different. They're not huge on sweets. They're more big on chocolate. Sour Skittles gummies. The Scout Sour Skittles are good from here. They are uh, full of all the things they have to take out in the UK. But it's mostly jellies and things. I'm not a huge sweets fan over here, apart from the Skittles, which are full of all the E-numbers. These are interesting. They've got the Reese's the Crisps in them. Oh. Ah, and pretzels, pretzels in them. Well, the crisps, yeah, that oh, was good. Oh, like Russell's in it. Reese's. Yeah. Oh, Oddly, see, yeah. that's just too much. Too much, I'm afraid, there. Uh, we're just going to pop down and get some deodorant. And then we'll be, I think we'll be done in here. Next thing just to mention is toothpaste. So you likes of your Max White Fresh, $3. Again, not a huge difference, not mega price. Again, they've got a huge amount of choice. Uh, toothbrushes, I'd recommend picking one up. I mean, $7 for a Colgate is uh, quite expensive, in my opinion. Uh, you could definitely pick one up in England or wherever your hometown is in your cheaper shops. A little bit cheaper than that. If you want, do want to pick up some mouthwash, always a good idea. You're going to be eating and drinking a lot of sugar over here. Um, again, not bad. Three dollars for it's a little one that would do you for probably two weeks. That, but the answer choice they've got is uh, unreal. They do have a lot of these whitening kits as well. Uh, they get away with selling a lot of these whitening kits, whereas in the UK it's very, very restricted. Uh, here, a lot of these whitening strips are very, very popular. I'm not sure which brand. I don't use whitening strips personally, but I know a lot of people will buy a load and take them home. Uh, with them so you've got these these lights by the way are very much a uh, just a cell they don't actually really do anything um, these LED lights but there is some good whitening kit options but just these light things are just a lot of them are just for effect really shampoos so the likes of us we did buy um, head and shoulders in the airport and we paid a similar sort of price so it would have been a about the same, we paid four pounds here, three dollars sixty-seven. But they have got all your selection here, and it's a similar price to what you're going to pay in, in UK airports. You know, five dollars for a big one, and you've got all your Tresemme for all the ladies. You've got all the brands here, your Garnier, etc. Four dollars for a big bottle. So if you're just going to travel light and you want to buy it all here, not a huge price difference at all all your pan 10 it's just so you know and you've got your dry shampoo as well i think laura bought a bottle of this in the airport and it was about four pounds so that is a little bit more expensive for your dry shampoo but most of it is all much much of a muchness really price wise We've just been to Walmart, spent an extortionate amount of money, but we did get everything that we needed. It's all basics, it's all extravagant, but you've got all the drinks for, you know, it's good to be a good few days worth of drinks. And, exactly. You know, I got my dad a shirt, it wasn't like, you know. Sun lotion and a bit of makeup, stuff like that, just stuff yeah, that we needed. I, I've and... got some decongestant tablets because I've picked up a little bit of a bug. So all of that, you know, it's not, it all adds up. It yeah. All adds up. So we've so, done that, we're now back at the um, outlet. So it should Hot. all be opened up now. Yeah. Hot miles away. <laughs> Hi, yeah, you okay? So, thanks yeah. to you. So, just met a lovely couple coming in. Uh, James and Katie, if you're watching, lovely to chat. DVC owners. And he has the Tenerife live streams on while I'm in, while, uh, yeah. while I'm work at home. So, as you can see, much busier now. Everything's open. This is what we wanted to avoid, but we, you know, we didn't. Some things don't work out. So, we're on a little bit of a mission. We're going to get in, get what we need, and get out of here. 
uh, but it's, it's going to be a big difference now with how busy it is. Okay, so I had no looks, luck with the socks. They don't do them anymore, which is a big shame. So we're heading straight to the Disney character warehouse now. It seems like there's no line. So we'll have a little look in here with everyone. See if there's anything good. All the bags are still there. There's only a couple of other shops, mainly Under Armour, that we want to go to. Let's see what's going on in the character warehouse. Like that one, Laura. How much is that? 196.99. What should it be though? 328. So it's half price that one. Some nice ones. Don't know how much that one is. You got these Halloween candles. Smell any good, Laura? That's a no then. So that's why they're on sale. Cinnamon smelling. But they're really good to use. Yeah, it's they're like clever. Sister, that's really yeah. good. I've them. They got a lot in today, to be fair. A lot more than when we came last time. Some actually nice stuff in there, but not enough in there to make us want to take up room in the case. Some nice bits, Laura. Found a lovely spirit jersey, but unfortunately it was Disneyland, not Disney World. Uh, we did meet a lovely subscriber in there as well. Hello if you're watching. But now we're going to go into Under Armour, where there's definitely some things I want, uh, including this t-shirt right here, if I can get it. This one here, I really like that. And Laura likes these shorts as well. Uh, we always do end up getting some bits from Under Armour. Good value in here as well. It's good discounts, isn't it? Well, the shorts Laura likes, how much are they? Let's see. Got to compete with the music as well. Here's the tag. $50, but it's 30% off. And then you and get £10 off any sports board as well. $10 off every sport. The guy did give us a little tick token there as we came in the shop. There's always good stuff in here. Always. It's a very popular shop. Like them, Laura. They're nice for like now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Out and about. So I've just picked up these shorts. I think they're golf shorts, but they're exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and again, it's 20% uh, off on this one. It's these here. All different colours. But I do like them blue ones. Quite like these ones as well. I don't know whether to go for a pair of these instead. These look pretty comfy. Quite sort of soft feel. I'm not sure what to go for as well. Good song, come on. These are my favourite boxies. Guys, if you're looking for any new boxies, these are fantastic. I'm going to get a few pair of these as well. But uh, yeah, I do like the look of them as well. There's loads in here. I could have everything in this shop. There is absolutely loads in here. And uh, everyone's a winner, so there you go. So, all done at the outlet, unfortunately. Couldn't get the right boxes, couldn't get the socks. Wasn't a good idea. No. Uh, but we'll be fine anyway. We got the bits with that we wanted from Under Armour. Uh, we just pulled out of Ireland and we're going to pop it into BJ's for some lunch. Laura loves it in here because they do a lot of gluten-free. Do you normally get a pizza, isn't pizza, it? Yeah. Doing, um, what are they called? Cookie yeah, they do free cookie dough. So we're gonna eat in here, then we're gonna head to Universal. I'm um, just gonna fill up on a good sized lunch, give ourselves a boost before uh, hitting Universal, I think. Okay, so here is my chicken and bacon and cheese. It's almost like a big burger. It's That's meant to be a massive, sandwich, yeah. but it is big. And there's Laura's gluten-free pizza. Which I'm excited for. What's on there, Laura? I've got extra cheese, and then on this side, I've got three peps and jalapenos, and this yeah. side is normal. Mm. Nice, very nice. So we're going to dig in. This will fuel us up for the afternoon and we'll be good to go. Well, mine is very nice, piping hot, lovely crispy bacon. Laura, enjoying your pizza? Amazing. I was just saying, I yeah. love the sauce that they put on the pizza base in America. It's completely different from England. So really nice. Nice, good. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Annual pass. Annual pass, here we go. Just back in the parking, right? Yes, please. Okay. All the way to the right, have fun. Thank you. My pleasure, thank you. How are we doing? Still feels good. Still feels good when you do it. So. Uh, all the way to the right, All the way says. to the right. Okay. So we're going to head in. I think we'll probably head into Islands of Adventure first. We noticed yesterday that when we first got here, Islands was quite quiet and we went into Universal. By the time we headed over, Islands got really quite busy. The wait times jumped up, didn't they? Yeah. So I'm probably going to head into Ireland. I'd like to get something Harry Potter done. Maybe Spider-Man. I was about to say, what about Spider-Man? Yeah. We'll just see how it again, see how it goes, taking the atmosphere. 
We don't mean, have to get every single thing done and in a day. And it's free to get in, free to park, so it's exactly. not like you have to do anything. We can pop in, do a couple of rides, have a drink, come back out. Yeah. It's uh, really not me. When where we were at Vineland, we were not far from coming here anyway. It's literally taking us about 10 minutes max. Like that, yeah. So that's the beauty of the annual pass. If you're going to come twice in a year, it's an absolute no-brainer. Well, I hope you've all got your walking shoes on because we're parked on the roof in Cat in the Hat. Might as well be walking on top of his ass, we're that far away. Uh, top tip again, tip of the day. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you do eat out, make sure you do ask for a drink to go. The fountain drinks are free. Uh, once you've obviously paid for one, there's free refills. But you can get one to go as well, so do always just grab one to go. We've got it in the car. We're going to wander in with these. Big, full Sprite. So yeah, anywhere you eat out, they do have to-go cups and you'll get a, another free refill to take away with you. It's a uh, tip of the day. I've got a nice view from up here, just a million miles till we get there. Oh well, burn off the BJs. Well, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Even the security guy said, oh, I like your t-shirts. Do they sell them here? Oh, yes. oh it's like, so, Sarah, if you're watching, made up with these designs they will be getting added to the to the website the night shadow website soon um, but I mainly got them for our trip really but we are going to add them on uh, if you are interested in them but I made up with that here you go even universal like my shirts <laughs> loving it I think they know it was an annual pass holder so I think it was just a compliment I think <laughs> it's not looking too bad heading in actually we're parked far away but it actually doesn't look too bad crowd-wise so far. And uh, Laura, did you know that the moving walkway exit is approaching? No, it's not quite yet. Did not you know that? The the Please hotel. watch your step, all right? Oh, now it's approaching. Got that infamous music playing as we walk on in. Really, but do you know you're in uh, Islands of Adventure when this, this little tune's on? They have a few different sequences at the gate. I think that one's just finished, so there you go, here's the next one. The next tune is now on. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll head in, see what the wait times are like. And we'll try and get on a few different rides. We're going to try and do it again. Stuff that we didn't manage to do last time. I definitely want to do Jurassic Park. Yeah. But even again, yesterday it was down when we went near it. Was it? It was down, yeah, so... Hopefully we'll have a, a little bit more luck this trip with uh, with some of the rides. Quite a few that we tried to do end up being down right when we're going to do them. Yeah. Just see how we get on today. Laura's just checked on the app and Hagrid's is showing a 45 minute wait. So we're going to head to Hagrid's I think. Lowest wait we've ever seen in it. Lowest wait we've seen in a while. I would agree there Laura. And also uh, a ride we didn't get, get to do last trip. Yeah. Okay, the adventure begins. I'm feeling it. You can see all the, the wait times on the screen there, but I would recommend downloading the app. Is that much easier to sort of see what's going on? Velocity coaster 35, 60 minutes for Hagrid. So which is more accurate, the board or the phone? This is what drives me nuts. I think we might just, even for an hour, I think we just get in there and get it done, Laura. There'll be people screaming at the TV just to get in there and get it done. So, as tempting as Velocicoaster is again, we should definitely try and do the Hagrids that we haven't done uh, for absolutely ages. Yeah, it was a few Septembers ago. Yeah, in general, I, I'm finding, I think that was a pattern last time, Islands of Adventure a little bit quieter in the afternoon. And then a lot of people come over from Universal across into here in the evening, sort of late afternoon, evening. That's my thoughts, anyway, that's my feelings. Oh, here we go, Hulk's about to go. There you go. What would you do for a ride on that, guys? It is, uh, it's a great ride, but I, it's something I definitely do at the end of the day it does send your head quite a bit. Well, I'm not even kidding, I promise you. Another girl just walked past like, that's a nice shirt. 
I'm made up. Buzzing. Honestly, I'm not even kidding. Buzzing with that. I think it has to be Sarah who takes all the credit down. Yes, Sarah, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, it is a gorgeous day though. The sun is just the perfect temperature, isn't it? Perfect temperature. The only thing I'm starting to feel a little bit is my back starting to go a little bit. Oh, it's all the walking. The walking, but also you're holding the camera and things. Oh, the middle of my back is starting to get slightly sore. It, you know, it has no, been, a, been an intense few days, you know what I mean? Intense few days, y'all. Just in time for Kong. Good theme tune. This is 20 minutes. We're going to maybe do this one later on. Yeah. It is a good ride. It's more of an experience than a ride, but... It's uh, all the rides higher up on the list today. So unfortunately we've got here and it's now a 90 minute wait and we're not gonna wait that, it's a bit too long for us, for now. So, then it went to 60, then it went to 90. So does something happen at lunchtime where everyone just switches parks? So we're going to carry on through and try and do, I think it's Forbidden Journey, is it? We'll try and do that one instead. It's, it is busy in here, but it just shows how it can change. Let's see a five minute walk. It's gone up by 20 odd minutes. So still a look at the castle as you come into this one. This has definitely got the best facade, I'd say. Yeah. The exterior of this is phenomenal. Especially when you get up close, the detail gets more and more. Uh, 35 minutes for this one. Uh, we are going to put the phone away in a locker. So we will uh, catch you once we come off. Great ride on that there. I think it's so underrated that ride. I really do. And we waited only about 20 minutes at 35, 20 minutes or so. Really does keep you moving. I think it's really underrated that. I think it's a really good ride. I think it's really good that. And it does move because it's continuously flowing. It does move people. And we're gonna head towards uh, back towards Velocity Coaster area. Let's see what's going on. It looks quite busy in this area to be fair. Start getting out of uh, Harry Potter. We're gonna quickly check if Hagrid's has dropped, but I don't. Okay, so Hagrid's has dropped down to a 60 minute wait, so I think we're gonna go and try and do it. We said we'd do it at 60. So we'll uh, we'll go and see if we can jump on this now. Fingers crossed for us. Unfortunately, we have to leave you in the lockers outside, but we'll uh, definitely pick you up afterwards and let you know our thoughts on it and how long we actually waited. It is currently uh, 15.14. So we'll see when we come off it exactly how long it took and if the ride is accurate. So amazing ride on Hagrid's there. Absolutely amazing. Second time around, I forgot about the drop. Absolutely fantastic. We did time it. It took 45 minutes to get to the front of the queue. So it was 15 minutes less than they said. Well worth it. Uh, what I would say is uh, at the locker station, it says that you can't have any loose anything at all, cell phones or anything. But in the queue line, it just says that you can't have anything loose. Um, you've got to have, it's got to fit in your pocket. So I would say still keep your phones because there's some great pictures in there. Yeah. And also the queue line, if you're claustrophobic at times, it goes deep in these caves. It's not very so pleasant. it's not super pleasant for about 15 minutes of it, I'd say. Uh, so have your phone as a bit of a distraction. But yeah, don't be worried about taking your phone because in the lockers it says no phones. But in the queue line, it just says you can't have mugs and loose bags and things. It's just got to fit in your pocket. But well worth it. Amazing ride. It's on par with Velocity Coaster in different ways. I'd say Velocity Coaster as a ride is better. Yeah. But the theming on Hagrid's is really, really good as well. The audio as you go round. It worked really, really hard to make it to an experience. Yeah, and that drop, I forgot about that drop, it's really good. Um, so absolutely fantastic with that shorter wait time than advertised. We are going to head now towards Spider-Man, Hulk, that area, see what's going on. Maybe do one of those and we'll stop for a drink as well. Important to keep hydrated. That's the other thing with that queue line, you'll see drink stations around, make sure you use them because it is quite, you can't take bottles with you. Yeah, so you do need those. Yeah, but no, absolutely amazing. We made up, we got that done. Well worth the wait. Might have to do Laura this trip. We're gonna let everyone do a vote, I think. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're gonna do a vote as to whether we should do all the water rides, whether we buy some ponchos, you have a bad hair day, and we do all of these water rides like this one, Jurassic Park, uh, Popeyes as well. 
gonna let you drop the comments, but do follow us on Instagram, Facebook. I think we'll do a poll and people can let us know if we should do a whole day. We'll have to buy some ponchos and we'll do a day of the water rides. This is dad's favorite part of the park as well, where you, you get the tokens and you can spray people with these machines. It is uh, one of my dad's favorite things to do. They see all the numbers and you can spray people as they come past. Good fun, isn't it? I'll be here all day, yeah, I'll just stick him here. $50, come back in an hour or so. <laughs> Bought some tokens just for funsies. What number are you gonna go for now? This is what you gotta do. Number seven, okay, let's see how number seven behaves as well. We gotta wait for someone to come along. They're gonna come along here. And when they get about there, you press the button. Now what you wanna do as well, these are the rules, or, nah, this is not a good one, seven. Try another one. I reckon try number two if we can. Don't get anyone with ponchos. You wanna get the people who are like nice and dry. You wanna aim for people who are looking nice and dry. I think number five, Laura, was good. Try number five, if I remember rightly. Number five was my one last time. Do you wanna, you wanna go for people without ponchos? Oh yeah, these looking good. Thing one and thing two. Thing wet. <laughs> go on, go. Way. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's good fun. See, I told you number five was good, didn't I? That was a good one. Right, it was good. Right in the face, that was. Right in the face. Here we go. See, so you, you want people like these. No, you won't reach that lane. So you've got to wait for them to come on our lane. <laughs> but yes, number one rule. No one, who's, no one who's wearing ponchos. Oh, yeah, these look innocent. These look innocent here, look. Now, let's get them. Come on, here we go. Now, go. Whee! Lovely. Oh, lovely. <laughs> How many more tokens have we got, Laura? Two more. Two more. Yeah, I do want to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a go. Yeah, you have to zoom out a bit. Am I in? Yeah, am I ready to go? Yeah, you're ready to go. Hang on, try and see if you can, yeah, we can see Andrew and the people a little bit. You want to get the people the best bit that we have. Okay. Two oh. over here. Oh, okay, I think we've got one. Oh, here they oh, are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this girl at the front oh. here. She doesn't know what's coming, look. Hey! Oh, <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Oh, you like that? Love it. Token, please. <laughs> oh, I could be here all day. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Off as well, there. And that's it, you had too much fun then. Oh, that was the best five dollars I've ever what spent. What a money maker for Universal, that. I'm bringing more dollars. That oh is my too God. <laughs> Guys, honestly, it looks expensive. It's worth every dollar. Number five there gets them right in the face. Quality. Remember the rule: no one who's come prepared, no one who's in ponchos. You got to go for the ones that are, you know. I think they're about to get all dry. That's one of the highlights of the day for me, that. Love it. Well, just for the Despicable 3, it's time for a cheeky Spidey. It's uh, 25 minutes long. Love this ride. I will. It's favourite, isn't it? Yep, we had this debate last time which is better, this one or Transformers. For me, it's gotta be Spider Man. The spider signal. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> You know, crime reports are coming in from all over the city. I'm starting to get really worried. Hello? This is Jonah Jameson. Roger, over. Is this thing on? Listen, school. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city, and I'm starting to get worried. Did you see that? The spider signal! Was Spider Man nearby? Trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines! National coverage! Well, that was a web popular ride on Spider Man. A little thing I missed, I only just noticed it after all the years of doing this ride. I don't know if it's new. The little feature right at the very end as you're coming out of the ride on the left hand side with the gun blasting up into the office. If you haven't seen it, as, it, as you finish the ride and you wait to get off, look to your left hand side and up. I thought it was a real, I've never seen that feature before. I don't know if it's new or not. No, it's always 
here's the raise you deserve, if you know what I mean, you know it, but I've never seen that. Oh, cracking that ride. Definitely beats Transformers, I'm afraid. Um, so, we'll see how long Hulk is and whether we're gonna brave it or not. It might be a bit of a head wrecker, this one. Okay, so that is the Hulk done. My head is spinning. Uh, we ended up on row three, which was a little bit smoother, but I just find it really sucks you into those, the loops, and it really sucks on my head. I'm fine with that, I was fine that time. I think Laura the found it, yeah. near the front, the back yeah. kills me every time it's in my back, so I won't be doing the back anymore. No, Maybe that was fine. we're on row three. It was a little bit less intense. Yeah. What I would say is you do now notice how old school the operations are now. When you finish, you know, you're waiting in that really hot tunnel for a while while the car in front of you gets loaded up. The belts are really hard to get. You just see it's a little bit more old school. For me, far too loud. Far too loud in the queue line, far too loud on the ride. Yeah. Just my opinions. I'm not bashing it. It's a great ride. Uh, definitely do it, but they're just my opinions. When you, can't, when, you, when you go across and you do Velocicoaster and you come back and do this, the contrast is just ginormous yeah. and that's with it being retracted and that's with it having new carts as well I just for me it's just too loud just gives me a banging headache by the time we come out my head's just banging from it I'm sure there's Hulk fans now going crazy at me uh, Gaz probably one of them but for me it's it's do it at the end of the day and go home with a headache my opinion that ride it is one of the more intense rides that we do go on yeah. it is just be prepared, you might get a little bit of a headache and prepare, be prepared for, for noise. In the queue, just constant rumble down your ear. It is, and it's, it is really loud and really dark, isn't it? Yeah. As well. It was advertised 10, it was a lot longer than that as well, it was about 25 30. Uh, we're going to head towards the front now, we're going to go through uh, a couple of the gift shops as well along the way, and then we're going to start uh, heading back to the condo, having a refresh. I'm going to start editing this vlog, uh, we've got some other things to do. And we'll just see what happens in the evening, the evening time. Popping into the trading company first, which is still inside the park. Got a lot of Harry Potter things in here to check out. We do get our annual pass discount off any of the merch as well. <coughs> I like these old school style shirts and mugs. I like as well the jumper behind. It's quite a nice design with the traditional uh, logo on the front. And then the t-shirts over there as well. All the old school style stuff. And there was one thing that Laura spotted that I think we're definitely going to get this time. Believe it or not, we do have quite a few of these, especially Disney ones. And last time we came, they didn't have any of the Orlando ones. But they are back in stock now. We've got the Universal Ball. And we've also got the Arches. I think we're going to go for the Arches. Yeah. Uh, it's $25, we will get our discount off that. But these are, Laura sits and builds them. They are good fun, you know, when, once you've built them and you put them in your mantelpiece. They're not fun. Well, Laura doesn't think they're fun. <laughs> I, I like seeing the how, end results. How are they for ages? I know it's 14 now. It used to be seen above, remember? Yeah, 14 and over. They are yeah. quite tricky. And uh, you do need a little pair of, um, like, tweezers to do it, to do it accurately. See some of the pins they've got going on. Really have upped their game with all this stuff. That's a nice one. Look at that, the way the Jurassic World doors open. Velocity coaster there. Definitely upped their game over the last few years with the pins and some of the other merch going on. We'll take a look around here. Then we're gonna head to the uh, the the more classic store on City Walk on the way out. We'll see if there's anything in there. Oh, Minions Taffy. Do you like a little bit of taffy? That's gonna be it in here for now. We're gonna uh, jump to the next one further along. So into the legacy store now. Now this has got even more sort of classic style uh, items inside, classic designs like all the, the old Universal Studios logo here. Uh, we do like this one. We've got this one at home, Laura. We took this one last time, did we? Yes. Yeah, we bought that one last time, Christmas decoration. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's similar to what Steph had, Despicable yeah. 3. It's nice, that. And then you've got all your jaws here as well. And what, what did Amity Island smell like here, oh, Laura? Give that one a smell. We do like our candles. 
Any good? Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That. How much is that? Twenty. Mm, right. Oh, well, annual pass discount, do you know what I mean? If you're not an annual pass holder, you're not an annual pass holder, are you? I know, you're going to lose some money by not buying it. <laughs> that could be on the list. Could well be. Let me show you some of the other things around. They have got actual props as well in here as well. Look at this old design here. Got old props. So this is from the Disaster one, is it? This is from Disaster, maybe, I think. There's absolutely loads in here. You could spend a lot of money in here. I prefer all this sort of classic style stuff. Fast and Furious there. It's uh, one for Gaz. Whether we'll do that this time, I'm not so sure. Some really good stuff. So we will catch you now back at the condo. I've got to film a nice condo tour. The condo we've got is absolutely stunning, I must say. Uh, there on Windsor Hills on the 192. Going to do a full tour of that. It is absolutely, the way they've got it is spot on. Uh, so we're going to go home and do that. Uh, we will catch you there and you can avoid all of the uh, moving walkway and cars and driving. Uh, we'll do that for you. Well, good evening everyone. You now join us in Disney Springs. First time on Disney property. Feels good to be back. Can't wait. Uh, we went back uh, and filmed my condo tour. Uh, that video will be up on the channel. Make sure you check that out. Full tour of where we're staying. Uh, got that edited, had a little shower. And now we'll come back out. We're gonna have a nice walk around Disney Springs. We'll see if there's any snacks that catch our eye that we like the look of, but just gonna see how it goes tonight. It's nice to be back in Disney, to be fair. Yeah, it is nice to be back. See some of the Disney merch, etc. As usual here, it is very busy. Bit of a guitarist going on there, feeling a good vibe. But yeah, it's mad busy as usual. Take a wander along the front side first. Have a good little munch around. I'm enjoying the atmosphere, but it's busy as usual. You know, a bit of Michael Jackson on now, see, I like that. I like that. So we're into the Candy Cauldron. Of course, it's Mickey Cookie time. But it's also, uh, hopefully, toffee apple time for Laura. I've seen the 50th anniversary one looks nice with the white chocolate on. Oh, it looks good. I'm excited, Laura. I've missed these cookies. That cookie right there is the one. This one here. Yeah. The normal Mickey cookie at the end. So we've been back on Disney property all of what, two minutes? And I'm already $20 down. Got the uh, Mickey cookie and the toffee apple. But yeah, I've literally just stepped on Disney property, bang, $20 gone. You're going to enjoy wandering through the shops though. And maybe we might find a little, little bit of a snack somewhere. We're not super, super hungry tonight. Yeah, because I might go home, might just polish all those big bags of pencils. Well, while I'm editing, so you know, no wonder I'm not, you know, I'm thinking snack, Laura's definitely not. So, we'll, we'll see, see what happens. Oh, what have you got there? The smallest hot dog ever for $11. <laughs> mm. You did get a bag of crisps with it as well though. But yeah, it is small, but Disney prices, is it nice though? It's nice, like toasted bread. Yeah. So we're now in World of Disney. Some nice new things out already. Love that t-shirt. Love the luggage. It's a massive, massive store. This is the main Disney shop in Disney Springs. But there is a lot of new stuff that I've not seen before. An awful lot. They got some mugs. Mugs are finally back in stock. When we were here in November, they had like none. They've actually got a whole load of mugs now. So 
But when we came with a suitcase, Laura, it was impossible to find any mugs. Now you've found about four that you want to take home. Now we haven't got a suitcase. <laughs> there is loads of great new designs. So I wonder if they've got new, uh, Christmas decorations back in now as well. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Looks like Disney have finally cottoned onto the candle craze. What's that one smell like, Laura? Oh, we Cinnamon. See, they've taken a while to get onto the candle craze, but everyone we've smelt so far has not been great. I can wipe off the shop. Oh, the I know. That I really want. I see the there is uh, a lot going on. They do still sell Laura's bag as well. A lot of people comment on Laura's bag. They've still got it. How much is it, Laura? Five. 95 so they do still sell them everyone comments about that bag don't they Laura's liking the look of this one that's nice how much Laura's that's just a jumper it's not a spirit jersey is it it's a jumper let's see what the price is 120 wow very nice that so we're just gonna have a look in coach. I do like the giant Mickey though. If they sell them, I'd have one of them, Laura. They're pretty cool. Have a look at some of the bags. I think they are working with Disney now, coach. So they've got quite a few Disney items in there. A lot of Disney items. Yeah. Definitely upped their game with the Disney merch since we came last time, definitely. Yeah. So we have just been into the Disney Ticket Centre just to ask about tickets and what's going on. In terms of annual passes, they are only selling them for Florida residents. So at the moment, we still can't buy an annual pass. Um, the prices do fluctuate. They said Magic Kingdom is fully booked all the way up until the 21st of May. 21st of May, Magic Kingdom is fully booked. You know, I can't even get a ticket for it. And that's the, a full capacity, remember, back to full Oh yeah, back to full, jeez. And then for a one day ticket is between $130 and $140 for one day, one park. For two days, $270. Yep. And for two days with park hop, $350. It's insane. It's just bonkers, that's a whole nother flight here and back, yeah. nearly. That, I don't know what they're up to with these prices. He said, oh, we're hoping annual passes will come back soon. It's crazy. Crazy. That is for the people who've got them, who are not Florida residents, keep hold of them because they ain't giving them away. That, I just can't believe how expensive it is. Think, you think it wouldn't be that, that no, That's just crazy. And then bear in mind, you've got to reserve your day. There's no free fast passes when you get in there. No. And plainly, the parks are busy for Magic Kingdom to be full for like two weeks. It's insane. In May, May is quite This is time. May, yeah. This isn't even like May half term crazy but that puts you in the picture of just how expensive Disney is at the moment and why we're probably not going to be doing it this trip yeah. okay so that is it for today we're back at this lovely condo you hope you have watched the full condo tour if you haven't I'll leave the link to it in the description make sure you give it a watch it's a stunning stunning condo that we're staying in I uh, hope you enjoyed today again another big epic day wasn't it Really, yeah, really busy. I'm knackered now, yeah. Great to get on Hagrid's. Um, Disney Springs, they're very busy. Definitely up their game with the merchandise yeah. again. That loads of things you'd love to buy there. But judging by what he said about Magic Kingdom and how busy it was then on a Wednesday night, does suggest that the Disney parks right now are just probably bedlam. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Universal busy enough, though, aren't they? They're quite busy. Yeah, but. I just think there's just Disney, it's just bedlam from what I'm reading as well, from what people are saying, they're just saying Disney is just bonkers at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, that is going to be it for today. Please do hit the thumbs up, drop your comments as well. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're going to have plenty of vlogs coming up, uh, including a few live streams as well. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button. Uh, let us know your thoughts on today. What was your favourite part? Uh, we will be reading all of the comments, so uh, do drop them. Uh, we do take everything into account, any suggestions and things as well. Uh, but that's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. Stride on. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.